Um, pressure is mounting on the Republican candidates, while Democrats apparently appear to be hitting their stride. The Republican candidates for Senate, House, and, gover and governorship in the upcoming midterms have been filling the airways with baseless, um, with baseless assertions that the FBI search of a mar lago reveals the, politiza the politicization of the Justice Department and it undermines the rule of law, which it didn't. The Republicans ranging from third-ranking House um, Republican Elise Stefanik to House Minority Leader Kevin, Mac um, Kevin McCarthy are brimming with outrage and accusation. Now, Marjorie Trader Greene wants to defund the FBI. Joe Kent, a Trump-endorsed House candidate in Washington State, declares we're at a war. Now, as usual, Trump is fanning the, um, these type of flames. Um, how in that on Monday that his ugly-ass home, mar lago on Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege and raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents that evening. Um, that evening, the RNC sent out a fundraising text, this is not a drill. The unprecedented move, Biden FBI raids, um, um, raids um, the former squad of Trump's home. Time to take back Congress. Now, this was all bullshit rubbish. There's no evidence that the FBI search was motivated by anything other than suspicions underscored by federal judges finding out probable goals. Trump made off with documents right, that um, rightfully belonged to the United States, and they weren't his. Now, that is a fucking criminal offense in itself. If anyone has been undermining any rule of law, it's fucking Trump. Recall that Trump himself appointed the current director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, after firing former director James Comey for investigating, the t um, for investigating Trump's ties um, to Russia. Now, any allegation of Trump, wrong, of, of, of Trump wrongdoing is automatically treated by Trump's base as a loyalty test, triggering demands that Republican lawmakers and Republican hopefuls vigorously defend Trump and attack Democrats for going after him. Now, this doesn't, this doesn't particularly pose a problem for Democratic candidates in the upcoming midterm elections, um, whom the Trump Republicans won't vote for anyway, but it is posing a large and growing problem for Republican candidates, as Biden and the Democrats are taking victory laps for legislation that, that they passed, like the Chips and Science Act, which President Biden Wednesday signed into law, and very soon the Inflation Reduction Act. The Republican Party continues to wallow in Trumpist grievance and accusation. Now, typically after primary contest, the Republican candidates try to move as far from the extreme right as they dare to pick up more moderate and independent voters for the upcoming general election. Now, most Republican candidates know that their best chance of prevailing in November depends on, distan on, depends on them distancing themselves from Trump and focusing on Republican hot-button issues like inflation, crime, and, and, um, and immigration, which is the inflation is, is um, global, so is crime. But the Trump base, but the Trump base response to the FBI's Mar-a-Lago search shows how difficult it will be to gain any distance from Trump at all. Um, that search is likely to be a prelude, um, to be a prelude to more fireworks in September and October when Republican candidates will have no choice but to repeatedly go to the mat for Trump. Now consider this: the January 6th committee will resume its hearings in early September. Those hearings will will almost certainly provide more evidence of Trump's attempted coup of 2020. The DOJ investigation into the Trump into Trump's role and pushing fake electors and in, moving, and, and in removing documents in the White House appears to be heating up. Now, the D.C. Court of Appeals has just cleared the way for the House Ways and Means Committee to obtain Trump's long-hidden um, long tax returns that he refused to release while he was squatting in the White House. Now, prosecutors in Georgia continued their investigation into Trump's demand that the Georgia Secretary of State Brad Ravensburger find the votes Trump needed to win an election that three separate um, courts confirmed that he had lost. Now, Rudy Kaludi has just been ordered to testify before the grand jury in that particular case. And, oh, let's not forget that Trump himself will probably declare his candidacy for, for squatter in September or October, all of which will put Republican candidates under pressure, um, under the growing pressure from Trump's base to defend Trump, to rage against his accusers, and to relitigate the 2020 election um, and the task that will be increasingly difficult as further evidence emerges of Trump's criminality. Now, meanwhile, Democrats will be able to boast about what they've done for the American people, like redu they they um reduced the drug prices, they cut the cost on healthcare, clean the environment, um, maintain America's competitive edge, and modernize the nation's roads, bridges, and waters and sewage systems. Stuff that um that the Republicans all voted against. As Biden put it, as Biden put it um, put it on Tuesday when he signed when he signed um the Chips and um and Science Act into law, America has met the moment a moment when we bet on ourselves, believed in ourselves, and recaptured the story, the spirit, and the soul of this nation. Which will be the more attractive um, message to the moderate and independent voters who will largely determine the outcome of the election? Um, so, de so defending Trump, so defending Trump from mounting accusations of his criminality, is and and his ever more outlandish claims of being persecuted or recapturing the can-do spirit of America. I'm gonna bet the latter on this. So, if you liked the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. 
And if you want to support my work even further, um, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the belt section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.